really good squirrel spot. It's a really good squirrel spot. So let's just look in the tree for a minute or two. You know the best way to attract a squirrel? Climb up a tree and act like a nut. You know it's invisible and smells like nuts. A squirrel fart? A squirrel fart, yeah. I could think about that one. Okay. Let's see. It just really looked like one. But it was the wrong color. Right shape, wrong color. That wasn't one. And I don't shoot if I can't for sure know it's a squirrel. We'll come back to this tree. So we'll move. We'll give it a chance to come out and play. I hope you have good balance. I hope so too. It's easy. It's, you'll see what we gotta walk over. Yep, you can't come here after February. We could. That would be neat. Emma, just walk over straight ahead. Uh -huh. And just, I just want to see if you can turn a squirrel my way. I'm just going to sit right here. You don't believe that's all behind. Keep going. Actually, there's a squirrel. Oh. There's a Possible. Keep going. I can go behind the tree? Yeah. She's my dog. <laughs> I can see that. I bring my... Actually, I usually bring Rex hunting, but I didn't want to bring him today. Take him out tomorrow. But he's moved squirrels for me lots of times. Oh, that'd be really helpful. Yeah. Oh, we just kicked up a bird. We just kicked up a quail. Mm -hmm. Did you hear it? Yeah. That was a quail. Yeah. Maybe you could possibly call it back. Nah, it went. Let's let's watch for the squirrels. But that was a quail, all right. That is so like a horse. Yeah, you stay back a little bit, but keep your eyes open. Oh what? You see? Oh yeah, I see him. There's one up in this tree. tree. Yeah, he's right up. He's in that limb, right? Yeah. Oh, there's one right there too. I saw one up in there too. So I know there's one up here and there's another one over there. Yeah. Hey Emma, yeah. I need you to do your thing. Walk around a tree and see if you can move them. Yeah, I, that tree that I saw somewhere in there. So I'll just want, wait for it. There's probably more than one. This has always been a good tree.
Oh, I see him. Just wait a minute. Yep. I think I see another one too. I don't know. I dropped him, Emma. You see him? Yeah, I have him. Oh, okay. Is he dead? Okay, you can go see. There's another squirrel in this batch too. At least one. More. Oh yeah, see? I got him right in the eye. <laughs> Look at that. So it's a good thing I did want it. Yeah. Good. I partly owe you this one because of your good good eye. <laughs> yeah, I saw it just in that tree from that and I saw it and I'm like, oh, it's just yeah, I saw that, and there was another one too. He was a, sure. He was right in here. If you want to wear this, you can be the. This has my game bag in it. Yeah. So let me just change out my pockets. I'm still looking because Emma. I still think I see a squirrel. I really do, but I don't know. Huh? What? I see him. Okay, you're gonna shoot. I'm going to have to plug my ears. <laughs> oh my gosh. I see one. I see one. Okay. He's up there. Okay. Emma? Yeah? There's another squirrel up there. I need you to walk back the way you just came. This tail's so cool. I use those tails. What's he doing? Yeah, I headshot him, so he'll... Wait, I see another squirrel. Okay. I'm pretty sure... He's not running, is he? What? He's, he's not running, right? No. Okay. I just see another one up and I think I see another one. I do. Did you get it? Yep. That's the one I thought I've been seeing the whole time. Okay. Okay, ready for Yep. Ooh, that's a big one. Yeah. It's a boy too. Yep, male. This one's a female. So that doesn't bother you too much having me do that, huh? Nope. It's just exciting. Cool. I mean, that's what I, I like about hunting, too. You know, I okay, could probably get some more flip. squirrels out of the street. I swear like I know I could. Bleeding or anything? Huh? I whacked myself in the eye with a stick. You, oh, know, you got this one headshot. Yeah, those, I saw mostly heads for those. But I'm not bleeding or anything, Dad. So, no, some... I don't see any blood. Can I hit? <laughs> let, me, let me get you on this. Is it flashing? Uh, yes. I, yeah, there's a red dot. It's flashing? Yeah. Okay, that's else. good. Okay, so we should be recording right now. We're recording. We're live. Okay. Oh, we're live. We're live. We're live.
So after shooting all these squirrels, we need to them. cook them. And okay. so I'm going to show you a preparation that I like a lot. And I tell you what I hate is fat, so I'm trimming off all the fat. These were some pretty healthy squirrels, all fox squirrels. And I get rid of all fat because that's important to me in particular because it makes me gag. No fat, fat gag. No fat. Fat looks fat as fat. Okay, and then I've been, I shot these with a, a shotgun and I tend to just, I, I, I'm not a big fan of the belly fat, belly meat, so I'm just going to remove that. Um, and then what I do is, just for fun, I'm trying a new recipe, and what I like to do is cut away the meat from the bone, cut bone although sometimes I, I do cook it with the bone in too, but in this case, I, I really want to cook it. I'm just using my little fillet knife that I would use to fillet a fish, and I'm just going to cut it in the chunks and get all the sinews off. I'm just doing that. And I'm going to cut away more of the meat. Okay. I'll watch to see if it stops. And there we go. So I got most of the meat off of the legs. I just find that for what I'm going to do with this when I leave the bones on, they get to be such a pain in the butt. So, so I'll keep doing it. Okay, cut away the flabs. Cut this part. I do not like the belly fat. It really doesn't taste good. And if you want to make squirrel you ever want to eat again, you got to make sure you cut that fat off. There's hardly any meat on the ribs and it's not really worth um, cutting up for that. So most of the meat, this this was a smaller squirrel. I depends on how I would cook it, but I plan to do something special with this and so I don't want to have a bunch of meat that I can't use. Okay. Okay. So now I got my squirrel in here. This is Squirrel. three squirrels. Some has bone in, some has no bone. Um, so we got three squirrels, and now I'm going to put my special secret flavoring. It is a hot pepper paste fermented, but it's not very hot at all. And I'm going to just put this inside of here and coat these with this and let it sit for a while. So what I do is I put some in here and I just get it all worked in there. Okay. So it looks like your fingers are covered in blood through the camera. Yeah, they're not bloody. I just make sure it's all coated. Yeah, I'm gonna adjust the a little. Yeah. Okay. And this is, I'll let it sit for a while. And we'll come back. Okay, so now we got the squirrel that's been sitting uh, chilled for probably, I don't know, half an hour to an hour, probably more like an hour. And so it's got that red chili paste on, and so we will begin the next step. In the next step, I will add some curry powder into this bag, along with some flour and some starch, cornstarch. And that's what I will do. And then I'll shake up the squirrel parts into that mixture, and then I will deep fry it. So, in terms of amounts, I probably use two of these spoonfuls of starch and about three to four 
spoonfuls of flour and I'm going to put in one spoonful of this curry powder. A, a nice heaping spoon. Maybe two. You just kind of go according to taste. Nothing major. Nothing fancy. And once I have it ready to go, I just kind of mix it in the bag and I add the squirrel pieces that I cut up. Just put them right in. Okay, then I take this and shake it up real good. Okay, so now it's time to do the deep frying. So I got some squirrel right there. I'm just going to put it in for a little out of time. Now I'll just let it simmer for a while. Oh yeah, sizzling up real good. Uh, let's see how it's looking. Get nice and crispy. It's just uh, regular vegetable oil I have in here. Pretty good. It smells really good. All right, I think it's time to pull out the first batch of the squirrel. Put in the oil, put it off. I got my little strainer here. And we'll put in the next batch. Just keep doing that until it's all done. Okay, we've been doing a ton of eating the squirrel. There's another piece as it's all deep fried. And I've been loving dipping it in. We went to a chicken place and this is buffalo sauce. So I've been dipping it in this and, and the whole thing is just fabulous. Mm. Mm. It was really good. What do you think? Mm. All right. So that's an another way to make uh, squirrel and a lot of times people just, there you go, a lot of times people just make it into a stew or, or maybe just fry it is good too, but boy this, this is something you should try if you're a squirrel eater, even if you're not, you should at least give it a try. If you can get it, some people have trouble with the idea that it's a tree rat. But it is good. If I'd eat that, if it tasted that good, no question about it. That's me I ever tasted. All right. Sure. Well, thanks.